This is Natalie Calbat alongside AFCA All-American Sarah Hughes. Sarah, what has been the difference being paired with veteran like Burnham last season to being the veteran of your pair this season? Well, Kirby really helped me out last year. It was definitely like an experience for me because her being the senior, me coming in as a freshman, you know, it's kind of like don't know really don't really know what to do. I'm a baby freshman, but she definitely guided me and helped me um, to become the leader I am this year with Kelly. So it's nice because I've I've had that experience at the national championships, uh, winning the individual. So uh, I think I can help Kelly that way. You know, it's super competitive tournament, but uh, just me talking to her, being able to share my experiences, I know it will help both of us. Now, what are the key factors that help your relationship stay consistent and healthy on and off the sand? Well, I would say the major one is communication because you know, it's you and one other person on the court. If you don't have that communication and that, that great partnership together, you can definitely like fall pretty easily. So Kelly and I have been on and off the court communication, you know, uh, we'll take the time on a day when we're free just to go and talk about anything, you know, friends, family, and then of course on the court, it's always volleyball and uh, we have that really good connection and that relationship. Now this will be the team's third straight appearance at the national championships. What are your main focuses and goals as an individual and as a whole for the whole team? Well, as a team, you know, this year, like we want that team win so bad this year. We haven't gotten it yet, but uh, this year we're, we're all focused on that same goal, um, winning that national championship. And not only that, we're focused on our side of the court. So, uh, you know, just, even whatever, we don't know the other teams sometimes. We're playing Stetson first. We don't really know what they're doing, but uh, we haven't seen them play. But we, if we control our side of the court and do what we do, pass, set, you know, and hit, we're going to be fine and just take care of our side. And then individually, uh, like I said, I think just keeping that communication up with Kelly. Um, and also kind of our thing this year is staying aggressive both Kelly and I. Um, so I would say the key things for us are communication and, and just being aggressive. Sarah, I know that last year you got to work with Misty May Trainer. How was watching and picking the brains of one of the best like Misty contributed to your success on the sand? Well, Misty has been my idol since I started beach volleyball. Uh, I actually had the opportunity to watch her play at Huntington Beach when I was young because I grew up there. Uh, but just being able to watch her is so amazing because I want to be like her as a player. She's so fast on defense. She can read the ball great. And having her last year was so amazing because not only did you know, we play a little bit, but like I got to talk to her one-on-one. -on -one. Um, and just her giving me feedback on little things that I do, uh, it helped me so much. And uh, it was great. I really miss her this year. But uh, we have Dane Blanton, another Olympic gold medalist, and he's helped me as well. So overall, these past two years with uh, the volunteer assistant coaches have been really amazing. All right. Well, good luck this weekend at the national championship, Sarah. Thank you. That is our report from the Sand Volleyball Court. For Sarah Hughes, I'm Natalie Calbat with WeRSC.